my beautiful, beautiful friends. I am Vanilla Biscotti, and this is Painting with Vanilla Biscotti. And this episode is a fan-picked episode. So what I did is I went over to my happy little Twitter, and I started up a poll, and I asked what everyone would like me to draw. And the winning vote is what I'm going to draw today. Don't worry, though. I will be drawing the other choices. But for today, I'm drawing the number one pick. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I'm very excited for this one. So this time, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to try... Well, first, I'm going to start with my simple shapes, because you know how I do it here. And we have a hand coming down like this. And her other hand is going to be like this. And we got a leg coming down and sideways. And this leg is going to be kind of like this. There, we got our very basic shapes. Now, we start another layer here. We turn this sideways so I can get a better angle. We start, we start coloring it in, filling it in, getting rid of all the stuff. Happy little accidents. that we will not need for this drawing. Since arms are connected to the body, get rid of that here. I'm gonna just, just touch this up just a little bit just so it looks a little normal. There we go. Get rid of that there. The leg here. Now this might look like a convoluted mess right now, but I assure you, when it's done, you're gonna love it. So okay, I'll go on to the next layer here. I'm gonna start with I guess we'll start with the hair. Because she has very, very pretty hair. Very pretty hair. So we'll just kind of go like this. Fill it in a little bit. And now since she's in this position, it's going to be kind of out like this. Just, just out like this, just a little bit. It's just a little bit there, just like that. Over here covers the head. Okay, now there's a very specific reason why I have her in this position, and that's because she's actually wearing a bathing suit because she is actually at the beach so let me what color should her bathing suit be I'll put a green a green would look nice with her, with her golden hair very nice golden hair Mistake. Maybe on this layer, get rid of that little mistake. Now remember, we don't make mistakes here. Just happy little accidents. Actually, I think I want to draw just just a line here, indication that it's 
the bottom of her swimsuit. Now, I'm going to fill in give her some more of the more beautiful colors for her skin <laughs> that, that's our cleavage because <laughs> she's on the beach wearing a swimsuit Okay, now we're going to fix this so it doesn't look like put this here so it looks like she has a pair of legs, not just. Actually, you know, that's the great thing about art. Sometimes you draw something, you have an idea, and it doesn't quite, quite work out the way you envisioned. But here's the great thing about art. You can always go back, you can always go back, fix things that you think look kind of wonky, or maybe aren't working out for you. You know, because... We all, we've all been there. We have an, a vision in our head. We want it to look a certain way. We get it down, and it doesn't look that way. And we're like, we feel, you know, we might feel like we're bad artists. And that's, that's not the case at all. Sometimes you just have to, you know, you have to go for it. Sometimes you just have to finish what you're working on. You know, and it might not be as bad as you think. You know, you might just be in the... A wrong, the wrong frame of mind and you know you might think negative of your own work a lot of people do that it's that's part of being being an artist sometimes you just think bad of your own work but, you know when you feel that way you just have to tell that little voice just be like little voice, little negative voice in my head. Leave me alone because I know that I make good art. And it might not look perfect every time because that's what happens sometimes, but I am a fantastic artist and you can just leave me alone, little voice. You know, and if you tell yourself that more and more, eventually that little voice well that little voice will just leave you alone and I know this to be true because I used to have that little voice in my head telling me that I'm no good that I should just stop I should just not draw and teach people how to draw perfect characters every time and eventually, I told that little voice, I'm like, you know what, little voice? I don't like your attitude. I don't like the way you talk to me. So now, get out of my head, little voice. And I said this when I was at Walmart all by myself. And, you know, at first, people didn't understand. They're like, why is this guy talking to himself? But then they're like, oh, he's right. If we all told a little voice in our head to go away, then we would all be a little happier. And so that's, that's one way to feel better about your art. Just You just have to go for it sometimes, you know? Just see what happens. Yeah, you're going to get the people that are mean. 
yeah, you're going to get the people that don't like it. But that's okay, because not everybody has to like everything that you do. That's just the way it is when you're an artist or a creator. You can't get mad at them because they don't like what, what you make. Sometimes people just don't like it. But there you... Oh, wait a minute here. I'm a silly boy. I don't know. Since this time she is on. That's this is the sand that she's laying on. Just fill that in. She needs a lovely smile to finish this painting. Okay, there you go. That's how you can draw a perfect Princess Peach every time. Fun fact. If you flip it over to the side, she's laying on the beach. But if you flip it over the other way, she's sitting cross-legged. So that's a fun fact. It's almost two, a two-in-one drawing. Anyways, I thank you for joining me this time. I thank you for listening to me rant. I will see you again very, very soon, my friends. Take care.